known for her trademark heavy full fringe and love of wearing black colored clothing, Claudia has quickly become one of the nation's favorite presenters, but the presenter herself fears that she might be in the wrong job entirely. Opening up in a past interview the star admitted that she has terrible eyesight, not helped by the fringe of course, that hinders her from being able to read the auto cue. In order to try and remedy the issue, Claudia had life-changing surgery, and now uses a surprising product every day. Talking to The Sun, Claudia revealed the extent of her eye troubles, I can't even begin to tell you how blind I am. It's embarrassing. I can't read the auto cue. My eyes have deteriorated so badly, I'm not meant to drive. I am doing the wrong job. Known as well for her dark eye makeup, Claudia goes on to explain that the look is never intentional, but just down to an absence of mirrors in her house, as well as her poor eyesight. She said, I don't have any mirrors in my house, because I don't believe in what we look like. And I've got really bad eyesight. Diabetes the 21 p spice that drive blood sugar levels down by 30% in my head, I look a bit like a supermodel and I'm surprised more people don't crash when they see me. I'm like, dudes, I look amazing. I've got no concept of how I look or how I am. In amongst the hilarity, and Claudia's flawless self-deprecating yet self-loving ability she decided to seek the advice of a medical professional, who would be able to improve her eyesight. The star then underwent laser eye surgery at Moorfields Eye Hospital in London, a major operation that uses lasers to reshape the front surface of your eyes, so that they can focus better. Reflecting on her surgery Claudia said, I booked into the doctor and he explained how they are going to do it. I had to ask him a few questions like, am I going to die? To which he laughed at me, and, could my eye pop out and roll? He replied, you're quite highly strung yet hilarious. Pfizer booster shot, the unexpected side effect after third dose, inside high cholesterol, just one teaspoon of a 50p food daily can slash your levels by 10%, latest hair loss, the at-home method using a powerful herb that's proven to boost hair growth, tips, I handed over my credit card. He gave me an enormous thing and said you have to read that. I said I can't. Luckily for the down-to-earth host, the surgery was a success, improving her severe short-sightedness. It was a frightening time but the operation was life-changing. I am so grateful to the fantastic staff at Moorfields, hospital, she added. In addition to her journey to better eyesight, Claudia also swears by CBD products to help her sleep. Talking to Express.co.uk a few years back Claudia said, I love Canray, a CBD brand, because when I take it, I sleep like how I imagine a baby seal would sleep. I take a drop or a gummy and I snuggle down like an old, ancient possum. I do not swing from a tree but I sleep very well. The star elaborated to say that she avoids CBD oil, as she doesn't trust her poor eyesight and her ability to not spill it everywhere. The NHS explains that short-sightedness, or myopia as it is also known, is a very common eye condition that causes distant objects to appear blurred, whilst close objects can be seen clearly. Short-sightedness can range from mild to severe, and can start to affect children as young as six. Signs that your child may be short-sighted can include needing to sit near the front of the class at school because they find it difficult to read the whiteboard sitting close to the TV complaining of headaches or tired eyes regularly rubbing their eyes. 
individuals become short-sighted usually because the eyes grow slightly too long. This means that light doesn't focus on the retina at the back of the eye properly. Instead these light rays focus just in front of it, resulting in blurriness. The best way to confirm if you are short-sighted is through an eye test at your local opticians. Besides laser eye surgery, other main treatments include using corrective lenses or artificial lens implants.